Back to school means meeting new friends, learning new things. It can also mean having the first contact with new germs. Valentina Bonaparte is here in the studio with steps you can take to protect your kids. And boy, Valentina, do I need it. We are on like day three of Sick at Home. And check this out. Did you know that more doctor visits and missed school days happen because of common cold than any other illness? That's according to St. Mary's Dr. Jenny Wilson. And no better time to talk about common cold than back to school time. And for all of you parents out there, Dr. Wilson tells me there's no reason to panic. When you're a young kid, there are a few things you still have to learn. There's more germs on water fountain spigots and cafeteria trays than there even is on toilet seats. Having fun isn't one of them, but washing your hands might be. Washing means it has to include some sort of soap. So hand sanitizer is good, soap and water is better, water is not sufficient. There is no way to avoid germs, but as well as keeping good eating and sleeping habits, there are a few things you can teach your kids and protect your family. Be aware of not touching your face, not putting things in your mouth, not eating food off your cafeteria tray, getting immunized, and trying to use the water fountain without your hands. That's a good challenge. Many parents will agree, worse than getting sick is sharing it. If your child is sick, please keep them home. I know you probably have to go to work or you have other errands to run, but if you send your child to school sick, they're going to get other kids sick and then other parents are also going to have that problem. And last but not least. You also have to probably accept that your kid is going to get sick and in most cases they're going to get over it and, and then they're going to be a healthier person after that. Dr. Wilson also tells me questioning if you should bring your kid to the hospital is a sign that you should definitely take your kid to the hospital. Covering the story, Valentina Bonaparte, 2 News.